guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is the day to do the August favorites. I cannot believe that summer is officially done. When I'm sitting here thinking about the summer, I'm like, what have I done this summer besides work? And I'm like, oh yeah, I was in Ireland for an entire month, but it honestly feels like so long ago. So even though this summer has like gone fast, it still feels like everything is like years behind us. I don't know. I can't believe it's already time for August favorites, but you guys know the drill. I'm going to talk about the things that I have been loving for the month of August, but I just thought I'd throw it out there at the beginning that I really don't have very many makeup favorites. I haven't been doing a lot of makeup shopping. I haven't been trying out a whole lot of new products, so forgive me for that. I've been kind of dealing with a lot this month. Like there's just there's just been like so much going on in my life that it was a little bit overwhelming for a while, but you know what's only up from here? I've been shopping a little bit, so I'm hoping to get a few new and fun products and tutorials and all these things out for you guys. My apologies for this kind of bleh month, but I am hoping for better things come September. <laughs> so let's talk about the favorites that I do have. I'm gonna start with a brush. You guys have already seen me use this many many times which is the MAC 221 brush but I just can't tell you how life-changing this brush has been for me and my lower lash line. It is just the softest brush I have ever touched in my life. Before this I used the MAC 219 pencil brush for my lower lash line and I always felt like I was like stabbing myself under there but this has just been so soft it blends everything out so nicely and I've just been doing a lot more smoky things to my eyes because of this brush. It is so so good and if you have struggled with the lower lash line like myself I definitely recommend getting this. This is a very recent discovery but I thought I'd toss it in anyway because I am so so impressed with the Maybelline Fit Me powder just powder. Yes, it's just the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder. I have the shade 120 Classic Ivory. I feel like there were different versions of this. I remember like looking at a couple of them when I was looking at it and I feel like this one was the powder geared more towards those with dry or normal skin. It has totally been a dupe for my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. I've been using it in place of that and it just works amazingly underneath the eyes. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't go on powder. Like you can't see it on the skin, which I think is amazing for a drugstore powder. And the reason why I picked this up, I had just wanted to do that entirely drugstore product face and I realized I don't own a drugstore powder so I went on a mission I went to shoppers and I was like I'm just gonna buy a drugstore powder because I love Maybelline so much I was like they'll probably have one for me and I think also Kathleen Lights mentioned this one too so I was like okay sold and you know what it's freaking fabulous and I have been loving this powder I have had one standout eyeshadow that I have been using all month long ironically I'm not wearing it on my eyes today but pretty much every other day I have been throwing this on if you guys have been wondering what eyeshadow I've been wearing on snapchat every day it's probably been this one and it is Mac Foley. It's kind of a like medium toned purpley brown, but I have just been putting this like all in my crease all around and then putting a little bit of highlighter in the middle of the eye and that's all I've been wearing. This eyeshadow, I don't know what the chemistry is in this eyeshadow, but first of all, it looks absolutely fabulous with like any eye color. If you guys want me to do the eye look that I have been doing, it's so, so simple because I've literally just been using this. I'll do that for you, let me know, but I just wanted to give it a shout out because it has become one of my absolute top favorite MAC eyeshadows of all time. Time. And that is it for my makeup favorites. I told you guys I didn't have too many, but I've pretty much been using the exact same things all month long. Like, I know I mentioned the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, my last favorites. Also the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and Champagne Pop. I've been using my same uh, L'Oreal Matte Foundation mixed with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Like, I haven't been trying any new face products. I haven't been trying any new blushes. So if you guys are wanting me to try out any new products, definitely give me some recommendations in the comments down below because I've like found a face routine that I am stuck on that I'm really, really loving and I haven't had the desire to change it, you know? So please forgive me for the lack of makeup favorites, but I do have a few non-beauty favorites that I want to mention. First of all, being my nails. Now, a friend of mine always goes to the Mint Lounge here in Calgary. If you guys don't know where that is, it's in the Northwest. It's next to the Super store. Beautiful, beautiful salon. It's much newer and it's really affordable in comparison to other nail places that I've seen. I got the solar gel nails because I was just getting really sick of having my crappy breaking nails. I had a really bad shellac nail polish done and all my nails cracked off and I was like, I don't want to start from the ground up again. So I just went and got fake nails on. I was like, YOLO. And I got this really beautiful, natural, almost kind of like brownie gray nude color and 
I don't know the brand of the solar gel that they used, but the name of the polish was called Perfect Match. And all I asked for was like kind of pointy round nails. I'm so in love with them. I love these nails and I think this is going to turn into a horrible, horribly expensive addiction. This is actually super random, but a lot of you guys, speaking of my hands, have been asking me about my rings like a lot. So I thought I'd just throw that out there. Yes, in my Ireland haul, I did forget to mention my jewelry. <laughs> I did buy this ring there just at one of the random gift shops in Ireland and I also got these earrings there so my apologies to those of you who pointed out the fact that I forgot to mention that in my Ireland haul. I'm sorry. But this ring here is also from Ireland. It was actually a gift given to me from an Ireland trip previously to when I went and this ring is actually my wedding band that my mom wore in her marriage to my stepdad so it was kind of like a little heirloom thing so I don't know where you can get it. They bought it in Prague. Sorry that's random but like so many people like more than normal haven't asked me about my rings so I thought I'd just toss that in there. <laughs> I have two fashion favorites, the first being something that you will be very, very familiar with if you watch me on Snapchat. It is this plaid shirt here. I got it from Aritzia. It's the TNA brand so I assume you can get it at the TNA store as well. It's just a really beautiful maroon color and I just wanted a nice classic plaid shirt and I have been wearing it non-stop. Yes, even in the summertime, even if it's hot outside, I've been wearing my plaid shirt because I usually go from like inside to another place inside. I don't spend much time outside, so I've been, you know, bundling up because I'm sitting in air conditioning every day. But I love, love, love this plaid shirt. It's nice and thick, it's a nice material, it feels sturdy, and I love the color. I also wanted to give a shout out to my Lulu pants. This was a gift. I just asked my parents for money this year and I went and bought myself a little treat, and this is what I bought for my birthday. I don't know what these are called. They're the Lulu something something pants, but I just love the pattern. It's really, really slimming. It's one of their tight cropped leggings, so it like stops mid calf. And they've just been so cozy. My initial plan for them was to wear them running, but uh, I haven't been doing that at all this month. So they've just been my lounging pants and they are just so comfortable. They feel like skin on skin. You don't feel like you're wearing anything at all and I love, love, love the pattern and I think they're fabulous pants. My movie favorite of the month definitely has to be Straight Outta Compton. It was something that I didn't want to see. I hadn't really heard about it. I hadn't seen the trailer or anything and my friend Julia was like, hey, let's go see Straight Outta Compton. I have tickets. I was like, okay, well, if it's for free, I'll go see it. And then I left the theater like, Oh my goodness, it was so good! It was such a good movie. You feel like such a gangster G after, but like also really, really inspired. Yeah, it was an absolutely fabulous movie and I definitely recommend seeing it if you have not yet. I'm all about Ice Cube's son, I'm not gonna lie. Do you feel me? Do you feel? A TV show favorite, I have been watching Orange is the New Black, the third season. I'm taking it really slow because I feel like I've been super busy lately, but I've just been loving the third season so much more than the other two. I don't know what it is, maybe it's because it's more just like funny. Yeah, I feel like it's more funny, less like scary dramatic than the other episodes have been. For music favorites, I've definitely been finding a lot more music lately because I recently like went onto Spotify and I was just listening to playlists and like downloading songs as I was listening to it. Um, I love All Eyes on You, Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj. I'm like, Nicki, I feel you. I feel you. Hotline Bling by Drake, I think is such an awesome, like, cool song. White Iverson by Post Malone. That's a really nice, like, chilled out song. You just feel like you're, like, coasting. Um, High You Are by What So Not. That song is, like, such an awesome song to drive to and, like, get you all pumped up. Lean On by Major Lazer. That song, I'm just, like, every time I hear it, I'm like, I gotta dance. Yeah, and that's pretty much all the music I've been loving. I discovered a new app this month. I discovered the Facetune app. And this is an app that you actually have to purchase, but I was like, wow, this is so worth the purchase. Like my Instagram photos are loving this app. And I don't know, this is a photo that I recently posted on Instagram, but I don't really use many of the other features except the one that lets you blur the background and it just makes your face, like when you're taking a selfie, stand out so much more. Like I never knew that blurring out the background would make such a difference and it really makes me want to invest in that lens that like blurs out this background, you know? I don't know if you can see, but they just have all the different things. Like you can whiten teeth, you can smooth out the skin, you can enhance details reshape. I'm not about that reshape life, but they have filters and stuff. I still prefer the Instagram filters, but I basically use it to blur out the background on the photos. And I'm telling you, this app was like really life-changing. If you want your selfie game to be strong, 
download Facetune. So those are all of my favorites from the month of August. Thank you so much for you guys for kind of like putting up with me while I've had kind of a crappy upload month. I feel like my spirit hasn't been here, you know? So I promise you guys I'm gonna drink a lot more coffee and eat a lot more candy. I don't know, I'm gonna get myself hyped up and I'm gonna be pumping out videos like no tomorrow come the fall. I'm super, super excited for a lot of things that are coming up, but as always, let me know all of your video recommendations in the comments down below. I'm just gonna be jumping head first into the fall light, breaking out those dark lipsticks, breaking out the cool tones. So best of luck to those of you who are starting school after this weekend on Monday. I can't believe it. I'm going to be joining you guys in the back to school grind in a week and uh, until then, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!